Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie, and on my channel, I like to find unique properties in Atlanta that we can tour together. And let me tell you that today's property will not disappoint. As a realtor, I often find that couples or roommates, they really struggle to find their ideal home. And usually that's because one person wants old, full of character, historic, and the other person would prefer to have edgy, modern, new, like me. Uh, so it's really hard to find that ideal property that makes both people happy. Today's property will do just that. This is the DeSoto building built in 1914 by famed architect Walter T. Downing. It has seven units in this building and we're going to the top floor. That's right, a penthouse unit. You're gonna see beautiful skyline views all the way at the top at our outdoor space. It's incredible combination of old historic character you're gonna see plus great modern upgrades. You're gonna love this one. So before we begin, I'd like to thank our listing agent, Cindy Holbert with Coldwell Banker Realty. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so here we are. I wanted to bring you into the front of this building because it's got a beautiful marble staircase right here as you first enter the building. And it's also where you collect your mail. This unit that we're going to see does have its own private access directly from the back parking lot, which by the way, there's two deeded spaces for this unit. But I definitely wanted to show you when you talk about historical character, this is it. Let's go. Okay, so here we are, top floor of the DeSoto building. And right off the bat, you have this nice little foyer to greet your guests, a coat closet right here on your right. And you'll notice right off the bat, we also have some nice oak hardwood floors throughout. Actually, there's a combination of oak and pine. We'll see the pine a little bit later. So here you are in your formal living space. And I wanna point out a lot of the lighting design in this unit is by Mark Williams. And you know how I like my sparkles. This just makes me want to sing, but I won't. I'll spare everyone the torture. So in this beautiful living space, you'll notice we have a decorative marble fireplace. Gorgeous. Love this. And then we're going to come in here. We have a beautiful sunroom, lots of natural daylight. These windows do open. So on a nice day, actually, it's pretty nice right now. It's not raining anymore. You can open the windows and get a nice breeze flowing and you'll feel like you're outside minus the bugs, which I always love. It's a great sitting area over here. Having a sunroom with the exposed brick. I don't know if you can see from there, but there's exposed brick all around the sunroom. It's fantastic. Nice and quiet too, considering that we're right above the street. Okay, so moving through this formal living space and beautiful sunroom, we're gonna head back before we see the kitchen, we're gonna head back through this hallway and check out our bedrooms. And on our way to the bedrooms, we have some unique storage space here. And you know from my other videos, you can never have enough storage space, but this is great. Tons here, even on the higher shelves, we've got more cabinetry above. And so stepping out here, we're gonna move into the pine flooring. So we are going from oak to pine and then back to oak. Come back here. So in back here is technically our first bedroom. It's staged right now as an office. Could be another TV lounge area. Could be anything you wanted to make it. You've got your closet over here with storage above. Plenty of space, very spacious, because you've got this, this is a rather large desk. Windows everywhere, letting tons of natural light in. This is great. I think this might actually be a pullout, so it could be a dual purpose room, office and bedroom. Now, one of the things that people love most about older properties is that they tend to have quirky uh, features in them. And speaking of quirky, I think this is one of them. So to get to this first bathroom, look at this, it's elevated. We have to go up three steps to get into this bathroom. So we, we come in through here and we've got a nice marble floor, pedestal sink, Plenty of storage space here for cabinetry. And in here we actually have a steam shower feature and glass door, double benches, on one on either side, very spacious. But the, the uniqueness of this, in an old home you always see quirky features like this and having the, the bathroom elevated like this, I think that's really cool. I'm being nerdy again, probably. So let's go around. We're gonna come back out of this. You have dual access here. So you've got access here from the hallway into this bathroom, but it also connects to this other bedroom. So both bedrooms here, can you make use of that, this bathroom? So let's come on down. 
head over here to our second bedroom. A spacious suite. So we have access to the bathroom, like I said before. Again, it goes up the steps. I don't know, I just, this is me being silly, I guess, but I just, this is the quirkiness that you love with old homes that you just won't see in a layout to, in today's design. It's great. And then you've got your closet space here, plenty of space for a nice large bed. This looks like a full, but I believe if you didn't do the end table over there, you could get easily a queen, possibly a king. And again, nice shelving space over here. So let's head out. That was bedroom number two. We're going to move on in, into the owner's suite, the primary bedroom. So in the primary bedroom, we do actually have a walk-in closet. And it's right back here in the corner. First of all, look at this, all this natural daylight and beautiful skyline views. In just about every window in this home, you've got a nice view, either of the foliage outside, the trees that we saw in the sunroom, or the, you know, down on the street, on 7th Street, and then every other window looks like Midtown Skyline. It's, in, it's a nice city escape. So in this closet, it's a walk-in. So here we are, got plenty of storage space. What more could you ask for? Love the built-ins and more windows, natural daylight coming in, even in your closet space. King-size bed, another beautiful light fixture, Mark Williams. Again, I love my sparkles and they really outdid it. This is what I mean by this property has that excellent combination of old historical charm mixed with some modern features. And speaking of modern features, let's check out the primary suite, the bathroom. We have marble flooring that is heated. This is very luxury, right? So we've got some glass tiles in the back for the back around surrounding wall of the shower. Um, marble tile in, marble tile here. Again, this is heated. Oh, that just sounds heavenly. Beautiful modern fixtures and um, vanity. I love the combination of the two different styles. Truly unique, all of your settings here for your heated floor. And then just behind you is going to be our laundry room. So we're going to, and it's nice because a lot of condos give you a laundry closet. This has been built out to give you a full washer and dryer laundry room. So you've even got a lot of cabinetry space over here. Again, there I go with my storage space, right? But full size washer and dryer. And then even more efficiency, which I have to point out above me, you've got your tankless water heater and HVAC. So this is great because it doesn't take up any of your living space. Efficiency is always a good thing. So now let's head back out. So we checked out that first bedroom. We went into this quirky little bathroom that's up three steps, which connects you to your second your bedroom and then into your primary suite and then in uh, into your primary bathroom. So let's go back through this hallway, passing the incredible storage space and into our formal dining room. Huge dining room table. Again, I believe this light fixture also by Mark Williams. Excellent job. Again, it's giving that nice pop of modern design to this very historical uh, older building. And then let's move into the kitchen where we've got a limestone tile floor. This is excellent. You have a coffee bar, plenty of storage space. Coffee bar over here. You've got your breakfast buffet here and granite countertops. Love all of the natural light. Now here is this back entrance that we were talking about at the beginning of the video. You can park in the back where your two assigned spaces are and come right up to your door. You don't have to go through that front lobby that I was so desperate to show you. So in this kitchen, we have stainless steel appliances, dishwasher, your four burner gas stove and oven, and then you have your um, microwave oven here. You can't see it from there, but it's here. A beautiful cabinetry, glass, tile backsplash and I love this drop-in sink. I love the platform here. Um, this seems like it would be a lot easier if you're washing dishes to put them here as they're as they're draining. And then over here more pantry space and everywhere you look great views of Midtown, the skyline. 
So moving on, so much more to show you. We are actually going to head up to what I think might be the best part of this unit. So let's go on up and check out what's upstairs. All right. At the top of the steps, before I come all the way up, I do want to mention as you're coming up the steps, there is a nice little attic storage, small attic storage space on the right side of the staircase as you're coming up. And then um, you have the wrought iron uh, railings, which is a nice touch. And then when you get to the top, here's another one of those really nice modern features, which is the glass railing, which just keeps the room feeling nice and open. And continuing with our modern theme, we've got this nice three-dimensional tiling on the back of the ethanol fireplace with your reset television spot. And over here on the side, I'm, I'm getting a little anxious because I can't wait to show you what's behind you. But here we have a nice wet bar, so it's a great entertainment space. Again, you've got windows everywhere. And behind you, before we go out here, you've got a nice little powder room. And this is a, this is a great feature because if you are entertaining, which you would be if, when you see what we're about to look at, um, this is great for your guests. They can just run to the powder room without having to go back downstairs. So here we go, guys. My favorite. You have your own private outdoor space, this deck. And wow, the view every which way you look. This is your own private city oasis. It's spectacular. So as I'm catching my breath from all of this, this spectacular view, I want to br bring your attention to the flooring. It is a Brazilian teak hardwood floor, which by the way is three times harder than regular hardwood floors. Um, over here, oh actually, excuse me, above me, you have the pergola, which I also think is a spectacular feature. This is unbeatable. I mean, you really do feel that penthouse quality when you get to the top up here. And this is all yours. This is private. And over here, you actually have rooftop access. So you could step out onto the roof. I won't go out there now, but there's a little gate here that would let you go out onto the roof if you wanted to. You can see on the other side of the building, we have one other neighbor on the top floor who has an outdoor space, which is pretty secluded for your space. This I don't know what to say. Like I promised you, this unit is incredibly unique. It has that combination of the old historical building with the old quirky features mixed with some modern upgrades. It's truly a find on the Atlanta market right now. So this concludes our tour for the day. And I do want to thank our listing agent one more time, Cindy Holbert with Cobalt Banker Realty. This unique property in the heart of Midtown is on the market today for $748,800, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 2,038 square feet of living space, plus all of this. It's remarkable what you get with this property. You are so close walking distance to Piedmont Park. You are close to the Beltline, MARTA, which is our public transportation system. You've got shopping, restaurants, you name it. It's all at your fingertips with this property. I will put all of this information below in the uh, comment section. If you have a question, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to get you in touch with Cindy Holbert. Thank you so much for joining us today on my channel. Please give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will not miss our next tour. Sparkle on.